working the shift at my work from 1 a.m. to 12 p.m. 5 p.m. was one of the times where I had a nap. It was not the time I expected to get a call from my beloved daughter, Lainey. She lived with her mother, so I never really got to see or hear from her much, except for on holidays. Concerned on why I was getting a phone call from her, I picked up the phone. Daddy, I'm stuck in a tree, she muttered. I could hear the fear in her voice and was quite concerned if this was a sick prank from her or what. She always had a sick sense of humor, so I honestly could not tell. How'd you get stuck in a tree? I asked demandingly, still a little angry as to why she would not just call her mother, who probably is up and awake right now. It was raining quite harsh, so I thought I should probably hurry. I grabbed my umbrella and headed to my car, still on the phone with her. She wasn't saying much, but I could still hear her breathing into the phone. I'd assumed she'd hang up soon, as she never really did like talking over the phone. Just one of the many traits of her, I guess. I would have loved to know how she got in the tree, but I was more intent on getting her out of it. I asked her where the address was that the tree was at, and I headed off. I wanted to get there as quick as possible, as I didn't want my only daughter to be frightened and stuck in a tree. Then I started to think about the situation a bit more, since my initial paranoia of, oh, my daughter is in a tree, I need to save her, has worn off. Wait a minute, how am I going to get you down? She gave no response. Her breathing began to get slower, quieter. I was starting to fear she had fallen out of the tree, as she was not responding. Her slow but just yet realizable breathing assured me she was okay. I still wanted to hear her voice again, just to be sure. Any fucking creep could have put her in that tree or shot her or something and be breathing into the foam. I pushed my foot down on the gas pedal, almost passing the speed limit. Lainey, please answer me, I said, worry coming from my voice. Should I call the fire department? Still no response. I wanted to call 911, but I couldn't hang up on her. I couldn't. I finally arrived at the address. Fear, disgust, and shock filled my brain. I felt water flowing down my cheeks, but it wasn't just the rain. I saw my beloved daughter in casual wear, blood staining it. One end of a noose tied around her neck, and the other around a large branch on the tree she was stuck in. I cry and cry and I just can't stop. I drop to my knees and start pounding against the floor. Why my daughter? Why would she commit suicide if that even was the case? Could someone have killed her? I close my eyes for a minute or so to try and block the tears. I flip open my cell phone, eager to call her mother and the police. I hear a faint whisper from the cell phone. The answer I've long awaited. Cut the rope, Daddy.